Hello, thanks for joining me again. Today's video I'm going to be looking at wood turners box hinges um, because they are new products um, to us. We've done one of these videos before um, but we've actually got some uh, new items um, which are these ones here. Um, they're pretty much the same size as the old ones. They are a slightly different design. I'll show you the silver one. Um, hopefully you can see the um, design on there. There's a little flare on the front, there's little flary bits around the inside. Uh, they're just over 50 mils in diameter for fitting in the ring here. And uh, as you've probably just seen, we do a gold one and a silver one. Um, I may be wrong, but I believe that there hasn't been a silver one available in the UK until now. And we thought, as these are quite often used to make ring boxes, it would make sense to have silver and gold, um, because it would be rather odd to have a silver ring in a gold box and vice versa. So today what I'm going to do is show you the turning of an off-centre uh, ring box. Um, but I'm just going to explain to you how I'm going to do it. Um, that's going to enable me to speed up the video because um, you don't want to see me spending 10 minutes with a tool on a, uh, a piece of wood. That's, that's fairly dull but I will explain to you now how you actually go around turning. Uh, what is, I have to say, it, it very simple um, and great fun project to make. So first of all, what are you going to need to make uh, one of these uh, little boxes? Uh, well the answer is, apart from your lathe and your normal turning tools and a chuck, not an awful lot. Um, a bit of kitchen roll, a ruler, a pencil and some glue of your choice and that's pretty much it. Um, because what we're going to do um, is, I've got a little um, scrap here to, to show you how we do it. Um, when this is on the chuck we turn this down to the correct diameter for the box hinge. So what we're actually going to do is, is hold the hinge onto the end there, just trim it down until we get it the right size. Once that's the right size we can then open the hinge up, pop it on there and we'll mark with the pencil around the inside. That gives us a hollowing out mark so we can hollow that out and remove the pencil mark otherwise you'll see a little rim there. We can finish the inside uh, and we'll do that for a top and a bottom and when they're both done and parted off what we then do is, on mine I change the jaws because the jaws for this particular um, bit of wood are too big to do the insides but we basically turn the hollowed out project around and finish off the outside uh, and it then glues the two halves glue straight into the hinge. It's pretty straightforward and it's good fun. Now I'm going to do an off-centre ring box, uh, I'm not going to put anything in the middle of this one, I've already made a silver one with um, a black centre that uh, fortunately Mrs Procraft did for me, um, but you don't, it doesn't have to be a ring box, it can be anything, so whilst I was lying awake last night I was thinking what else could you possibly use one of these hinges for? A mint box? A pill box, you could make a long pencil case with it. If you wear small glasses, then you could make a, a glasses case. You could make a single fancy pen case with it. Um, there's lots and lots of things that you could do. I bet there's probably at least 30 or 40 other things that I haven't even considered doing. Um, and whilst I've been talking to you, well, I was also thinking that you could make a lidded dice shaker. Um, so the options are, are almost limitless, it uh, depends on your imagination. But anyway, we'll get a bit of wood, pop it on the lathe and we'll show you very quickly how we go around making one of these projects. It is worth mentioning at this point that the flatter and straighter you get the inside edge, the easier it is to remount 
when it comes to turning it round. Now I'm going to leave a bit more on the top of this one because I'm actually going to do a slightly off centre turn on the top of this box. Now I'm going to measure the inside and I've that's 15 millimetres so I'm going to put a mark on the outside there because that is the point that I must not come past when I'm turning the top um, and I'm actually going to think I'm going to take it off at about 40 mils so um, that's the point I'm going to part it off uh, and then I'm going to turn it around and remount it and remount it at a, at a slight angle it won't be much of an angle just a slight angle now it is worth mentioning at this point that I didn't on the last one um, that the jaws here because they're going to go on the inside where you might have already put a finish it's worth making sure these are really clean um, so I'm just going to give these a little polish just to make sure there's no muck on there and in actual fact what you can do uh, is use a bit of um, paper just to put around the jaws just to make sure you're not going to leave a mark um, on the inside of your box now this is a bit delicate because I actually can't quite see where the jaws are biting at this point to be very careful when I turn this to take a little bit off at a time. I'm going to take do the top first and then I'm going to level it up and do the side. Uh, that's the easiest way of doing it and if this stuff gets in the way you can just swap that around and just pull it off there. Um, but we're now going to try and just off centre turn this bit here. It is worth putting a face shield on at this point just in case this comes off because I can't see quite where the jaws are on there but we will give it a try. So now I've got the top uh, at the angle that I want, I'm ready to um, sand and finish that and, put it, and then we'll straighten the project up um, and finish the other side. If you have any scissors that don't have stuff stuck to them and actually cut, you might even manage to do a better job than I'm doing here. It could be on my shopping list, I think. A pair of scissors. Right, let's try just popping that over there. That looks a little bit better. Not right to the end because I've got to sand this and I don't want to get my... level there. So we do need to get it as level as we can. That looks okay. So now what we're going to do is just a little sand around this edge and finish, finish there.
So I'm sending that down to 600. And I'm just going to add a little bit of finish and then we're ready to look at uh, how it's going to fit together. Again, mind your fingers on this because it's off centre. And the reason I use the bowl sander is because it keeps my fingers away uh, from the chuck and the off centre turning because if you catch your finger on that at high speed it's going to hurt. That's the bottom of the box now finished and again if I want to put some wax on this or uh, the top half that's not a problem I can do that but we'll now just have a quick look and you'll see with the paper inside there's a bit of dust in there but there's no there's no mark on there's no mark on the inside of there so it's worth using a little bit of paper on the inside and we'll grab our other half pop that in there and we can now begin to see how the box is actually taken shape um, and all that remains now is to um, finish off with any further polishing and glue um, the two halves together which I'll do off camera um, in a minute. Well I started out to do one um, silver box or box with a silver hinge which I've done and you'll see we've put a little bit of black lining in there that's on the still for later uh, but I thought I could do a little bit better than that um, and I wanted to do a little off centre turned one and there it is there's a one I've just turned much happier with that one and you can see the hinge there and probably even here there's no um, centre in that at the moment there you go you can hear that uh, click shut so as always I hope that's been useful if we can help at all don't hesitate to get in touch please visit the website and we look forward to seeing you at our next video and hopefully with some more new products thanks very much for watching bye bye now take care